All right. So in this lecture, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to take the previous report that we just created and do some enhancements. So for example, if basically I run this report, it will just show me the whole table. And we discussed the possibility of adding a parameter, right? Suppose you want the user to type in the country region code and filter the whole report just based on country region code. How do you do it? So the way that you do it is basically you add a where clause here, right? And let me show you. So where country region code you say is equal to when you say add the rate and some parameter name that just means that the user needs to supply that value or that value needs to come from somewhere right so now closely observe this parameters folder as i click ok so when i click ok it automatically created a parameter so this is the parameter that we just created the country region code and let's go ahead and look at some of the properties if i double click on it it kind of gives me a couple of settings that I can do. I can change the data type or I can define some available values and we'll look into this in just a bit. Um, if the user doesn't provide a value, what are the default values we can pass in? And some other refresh related uh, settings. So we're going to leave all the default settings and just run this report. So when I run this report, it asks for country region code. If I type in US, it basically just gives me US specific data. Or let's say if I type in Canada, it'll give me Canada specific data. So this is like a way in which you can actually pass parameters and filter your report. Now let's assume that you really don't want the user to type in the parameter, right? You may, the user may not know, he might type in USA or CA, NADA, something like that, right? So you want to have these values supplied through a dropdown. Now, the way you can do that is basically you create a data set. So let me go ahead and just copy this query. And I'll create a new data set and I'll call this as country region code data set and I'll use the same connection string and just select the distinct country region code and that's pretty much it no parameters nothing so what this will do is it will just return the distinct country region code so if I click on the exclamation these are the sample values it will return now we have to somehow wire these values to the parameter right so I'll go ahead and click OK. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that I'm going to double click on this parameter and I'm going to say the available value should come from a query and the query is basically country region code data set, right? The value should be your column name and label is nothing but what is passed as a parameter to the other query. So we just have one column here. So we're going to select that and click on OK. And now let's see what happens. So as soon as you click preview, you see that it's no longer a drop. Uh, it's no longer a text box. Excuse me. It's actually a drop down, and the values are actually fed from the query that we just created. So as soon as you select, say, US, it will be passed on to the other query, and the report is now filtered just for US country region codes. Right. Similarly, Canada. Now, this is how you can kind of play with parameters. Now, naturally, I've shown you a simple example. You can have multiple data sets. Um, you know, you can actually have um, it show as CA, but pass the value as Canada. That's where your label values and all that come into play. So as and when you start developing more complex reports, you will actually, um, you know, really, really um, see how powerful SSRS is and how you can actually start passing such dynamic parameters in various forms to filter your report. Thank you.